Today's video is sponsored by Cricut and I'm going to be sharing with you two easy DIYs later on in the video. But first we're going to start out with some before shots of my massive front porch. We are going to be transforming this porch from a huge empty space to a cozy, inviting um, space you're just going to want to hang out in. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jessie and my husband and I bought this house in April of 2020 and we'll be going room by room doing a ton of um, room transformations and makeovers and we've kind of ignored this front porch area for the entire time we've lived here. We just threw some benches out there and called it a day, but we are ready to transform the space into a nice cozy place that you actually want to come out and hang um, out in. And uh, first things first is whenever you're transforming a space, it's always best to deep clean it. So we're getting rid of the bird's nest and we're going to be power washing and cleaning up this space so we can get to the fun part of replacing lights and decorating and just making this a really fun uh, spot to hang out. Want to be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got you I'm using some hot water and some Tide and my spin mop to <laughs> clean the siding. I know this seems probably a little bit silly, but this is a really, really good job of cleaning your siding. Um, I think it's really important. My husband and I both think it's really important to always kind of upkeep the outside of your house. When we first moved in, we got it professionally power washed from top to bottom, the roof and everything. And, um, so we don't do that every single year. We'll probably do it every other year. So this is the year that we're doing it ourselves, just doing um, using our little power washer here and there when we see uh, a need for it. And next year we will hire it out again and get it professionally done again. So put your hand in I am about six weeks postpartum here, so this is the first time I'm doing like extreme physical activity. I've been really just kind of taking it easy and I saw it no big deal. I can use the small clippers to trim back this bush and the other bushes that really need a good trimming. But after this one bush, I was like done. So later on in the video, you'll see my husband break out the um, power hedge trimmers and that does a quicker and much easier job than me just using the hand trimmers but i figured i would include this little bit just one bush in the video as well because that was a lot of effort and it was really hot out and i really did do a good job of um, bringing it back because it was kind of taking over as you can see the entire um, sidewalk with how big it was Ever since we first viewed this house, we knew that this 
front porch begged for a porch swing so i looked and looked and found the perfect one black metal from amazon i will link it in the description box below if you are interested in it it was quite affordable in my opinion and i like that the black metal will be um, a little bit more sturdy and last a little bit longer than say a wooden one and I can already tell you that we've been out here swinging every single night um, the baby loves the porch swing and just coming out here and kind of car watching and just enjoying the night um, and also so we did install these new um, those lights that were up there previously uh, last year but y'all were right, they were too small for the area, so I found some um, LED lights. They're dawn to dust lights as well. I found some, so you can see the old ones on the left. Here are the new ones. They're much bigger and much better fit for this space. So I took your advice and I exchanged the little teeny lights for some bigger ones and it made a massive, massive difference. Now that all of the hardware is off, I am just using some Tide in hot water to clean the front of the door off because I'm going to be painting the outside of the front door. I really love this door. I like the wood look of it. It is not a wood door, guys. I could not sand it and finish it. It is a fiberglass door um, that is a wood grain look to it. So um, I'm just going to paint it. I, I was researching how to revitalize the fiberglass wood look doors and it was just basically covering it with some gel stain I may try that on the inside before painting the inside as well but um, I, I really like the wood look of it on the inside it's it's definitely um, up kept a little bit better than the um, outside of the door that's been exposed to the elements I would love to get a storm door on this front door that way we can open up this big door and have some more light into the entryway but for now unless I want a bunch of flies in I don't ever open this front door and it does kind of close off the entryway a little bit but for the outside of it I am super happy I am just going to prime it and then um, paint it to match the other exterior doors on my house hey, I got your back. Yeah, you can come. While the front door paint dries, I am getting my husband to replace this light, this rusty old light that was up in the gazebo ceiling, and I'm replacing it with this light that I found on Amazon. It kind of reminds me of the bistro or cafe lights, kind of hangs, um, and I don't know. It's, it's kind of a wacky light. Let me know what you think. I will definitely have some... Um, night shots and some desk shots and all kinds of shots of this light. I think it's really like cool looking. I know it's a bit out there, but I think it's really cool. But let me know what you guys think in, in a comment. Just let me live a little younger than I really am. We've got nothing here to save us. Save us from ourselves. Let's live life like it's made up.
Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I had a lot of fun making some easy DIYs for my front porch. I used my Cricut Maker and my Cricut Heat Press 2 to customize some really fun pieces. Um, I'm also using the Cricut Infusible Ink to do my pillow and I'm using um, some Cricut removable vinyl to create my custom door knocker. So as you saw, I spray painted this black and let it dry and then I'm using the Cricut Design Space to search for a fun design to use on it and I'm using my Cricut Maker to cut out the removable vinyl so I can um, easily just put this on my door knocker and now I have a custom door knocker. Now I love using the Cricut Design Space because um, I always search there first to see if there's something pre-made that I can use because as of right now I'm on limited time so I try to knock out all of my crafting during nap time and making these two little pieces I did in one nap time so it was super easy um, and I'm using my weeding tool here to gently since this is just such a tiny little um, piece of vinyl I'm using it to gently separate the vinyl from the image that I'm going to be um, pressing onto my door knocker. And just like that, I have created a customized front door knocker. Now I'm using removable vinyl, that way if I want to change my mind or put like our last name on it or put something really funny or just change it with the seasons, I can easily do that. I can easily peel off the letters and do something new. So um, that's why I chose the removable vinyl. We could go put our last name on it. Um, we could do something really funny like knock knock. Um, but for now, I just thought a nice welcome to greet you as you come to my front door. Now, I'm also going back to the design space to choose a nice little saying for the pillow. Um, I had thought about making this myself, but like I said, I searched in design space to see if they had that phrase stay a while, and they did. So I'm just using my Cricut Maker to cut this out, and I'm using two different colors. So um, I'm cutting out the black first with the uh, invisible ink transfer sheet, and then I'm gonna be taking um, a little pink sheet for the little heart and um, cutting that out as well. So the heat press comes with a custom heat guide. You just input exactly what materials you're using. So I am using the infusible ink on a pillowcase. So I input that and it tells me um, exactly how long to preheat the fabric for. Um, it tells me what temperature I need the Cricut heat press on and how long to press for. Also tells me um, what I need to use. I'm using some butcher paper and um, inside of the pillowcase is the uh, cardstock and then underneath is my heat press pad that comes with the heat press. So I am really, really happy with this heat press and I really enjoyed using all of the infusible ink. It's probably my favorite thing to make t-shirts with and pillowcases with. Anything that is fabric, I love using the infusible ink. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking for any of the Cricut supplies that I use in this video, there is a link in the description box below that you can go and check out all of the Cricut products. I could be who you want cause I know that I need to be happy too. And then things turn to dust when I bluff just to mess up and tell the truth. All I hear is an echo, turn the words I say to ammo.
am about to be quite controversial. I am going to be hanging these DIY faux flower hanging baskets that I put together with things um, from Amazon. I actually had these on my um, Amazon list last year to get the faux flowers, um, but I decided to wait on that. And my girl Cambria from Living with Cambria just did some faux flowers in her garden this year and they've held up well. These actually look very, very real. Um, so real that little hummingbirds came up to get some sweet nectar from them and they were sad because they were fake. So he didn't get any food. Um, he wasted all his energy to fly all the way up here and didn't get any food. I actually feel kind of bad about that, but I do not feel bad because I don't have to water these. These are low maintenance. Don't have to worry about anything except for maybe them flying off if we have a strong wind. But um, I'm really loving these um, pops of color with the faux, with the faux uh, flowers. So now is the fun part where we get to start decorating and filling the space with furniture. I bought this bench on clearance last year at the end of season from Lowe's. Um, this little table I actually used, I stole from my back deck. It was extra and we really didn't need it. This little chair I actually got from Home Depot like years and years and years ago. Um, this little welcome to the porch is from Hobby Lobby this year. It is about 93 degrees and super humid as you're gonna see in this video I start to sweat really bad out here it is super hot but I'm still adding in the cute cozy little blankets right now just because I want you to imagine um, cooler nights out here people watching and enjoying the front porch so um, that was one thing people said uh, about my back deck makeover was where are the blankets I'm like oh it's like 100 degrees out here but for you know your viewing pleasure I'm going to add in a couple blankets even though they won't stay out here um, but they might come out here when it gets cooler and I just want to cozy up on my front porch the metal art is from Hobby Lobby this year and these little fern baskets are from home goods they were pretty inexpensive and I think they look pretty good they're faux obviously like I said I don't want anything that requires a ton of maintenance I have a newborn I don't really have a green thumb so I just wanted something that would give me the vibe I'm looking for that I don't have to spend a ton of money to replace later because it's died um, and we love this porch swing so much. We've been out here several, several times since we've installed it. And um, my little cricket pillow looks super cute on there and is super inviting. My life's just begun. Sun under the sun. I'll be fine and you'll be gone. When nothing's like home. I wanted to mimic the look that I did on the other side of the porch over here. I can see us hanging out more on this side of the porch because of the porch swing and of course the gazebo. Um, I'm using the same bench that I bought from Lowe's last year on clearance and these pillows I really wanted to go with a neutral vibe so I just got gray and the black and white stripe just to kind of um, be a good base for when I do do some fall and Christmas decorating in here so I really really love this arrangement um, I think it's super cozy I think it's neutral I think the colors pop off the siding and also the brick I really like all of the black accents on here Yeah. 
I can't forget about the front door, so I bought a bigger, longer mat for the front door. Um, and I also bought two boxwood um, spiral faux plants. And I had bought urns for them to go into, but they just are not... I mean, they're just really super delayed from Amazon. So for now, I just bought small little pots for them to sit in just so that they can... Um, not fall over and they'll have like a sturdier base. So I really like the way that these um, faux spiral topiaries, I think is what they're called actually, uh, boxwood topiaries. Um, I really like the way they look right here underneath each of the new lanterns that we got. Um, but like I said, I did buy taller urns for them to go in. Um, and now it is time to install the new knocker and then also we bought a new um, doorknob so um, that is like the finishing touches to the front door I just love the way that the blue pops out. Um, I am thinking of moving the topiaries in towards the front door a little bit more. Right now they're underneath each of the lanterns, but I feel like the two front posts block the topiaries a little bit. So leave me um, a comment with your opinion on what we should do there. I also didn't put anything in the gazebo because that is my area where we're going to put my Christmas tree. And I searched and searched to find a small little bistro set that I could put in there. Um, just like a little cafe table, but I just couldn't find anything I liked. And while I love sharing my transformations with you guys, I don't do anything just for a video. So I wasn't about to buy something that I wasn't totally in love with and kind of waste money on that. I'm very um, particular about what I spend money on and I don't like to waste money. Um, so here are the lights lit up at night. I think it looks so pretty. Imagine my Christmas tree in here. I did that last year and I cannot wait to do that again. I love the swing in the background and all of the soft lighting. I do love daylight bulbs inside, but outside I love that beautiful soft lighting. And here is a night shot. Um, and I'm just so excited to spend some time out here on my front porch. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully you got inspired to do some decorating on your front porch as well. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and, so, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads.